Okay, good morning, October. Today is the 24th, okay, 2016. This is CISG 114, Section 1, Web Technology and Light. And today is day number 19 into the semester, week number 10. So let's get started with this makeshift camera. All right. I have to apologize, my own camera doesn't work, so I need to borrow this camera to ensure that everything will be set. <coughs> okay, and if you still remember correctly, um, we are running the problem-based learning classroom starting this week. Now, in this problem-based classroom, in the two weeks following, and actually this is the last week, but we still give you two weeks time, you have to manage group work inside the classroom, okay? You have to manage group work inside the classroom. Let's try to do it this way. I will remind you what we need to do. Let me just go to week number eight first. Okay, in week number eight, we say that it is the official beginning of problem-based learning, that is group work in action. So we left you off at the end of learning contract number two as a team with two pairs in your team, and each pair in your team has a pair of topics. All right. So we say that you now have to continue your teamwork with the two pairs in your team with the respective two pair topics. Okay. And you need to know the artifacts that are expected of you at the end of November 7, which is the end of next week. So you have two weeks time to do this teamwork, okay? And what are you going to do with the teamwork? You need to accomplish the following. Harmonize the two pair topics, or the two pairs in your team into one topic, okay? The, the way you're going to harmonize the two pair topics into one pair, one team topic is very similar to the way the two of you in your learning contract number two harmonizing the two individual topics into one pair topic. So based on the format of the PBL classroom today, study today, you need to work together with your team members in your table. But before I give you 20 to 30 minutes time to work as a group inside the classroom, I will provide for each team two minutes time for your team representative to come up here, pick up the microphone, and tell the whole class what your team is up to. Okay? Principally speaking, you have done one week's work in the previous week, and you should have got something done. Well, without the previous week, you should also have got something done, because by the end of the learning contract number two, you have already produced two pair topics. Okay? So, I will give you five minutes time to prepare for each team's two minutes representative talk, okay? And each team needs to come up here to tell the whole class what your team is up to. Hey, Kaize, congratulations. Hey, Kaize, congratulations. I saw your excellent dancing step last evening, all right? With all the ladies with you. So you should be able to do a good job. Okay. So five minutes into your organization to prepare for your first two minutes per team by your team representative. And then you will have 20 to 30 minutes time to work together in group inside the classroom. During the 20 to 30 minutes you're working together in group, I will be visiting the table to make sure you understand what you need to do. Okay? After 
There are 30 minutes at most, but I will only give you 20 minutes because the call is running. I will invite each team with five minutes sharing by as many team members as possible to share with that five minutes. Now remember, the team members who share within the five minutes not will be counted as one important in-class sharing. Okay? Will be counted as one important in-class sharing. So you will not lose any specific personal in-class sharing time if you know how to make the best use of the five minutes your team will be given. Now, the only challenge you need to make sure you can handle it because you, the whole team will be only given five minutes. So if you have four members in your team, each member could only speak for more than one or two or three minutes, okay? So you have to make it a balanced approach. Now, may I just <coughs> stop talking now and give you that four to five minutes time to get your team set. Remember, at this point, in each team, you should have a coordinator. You should have a timekeeper. You should have a secretary. You should have a liaison. And you also need to have a tracker, okay? I'll give you that five minutes. And during the five minutes of your each team's preparations, for your two minutes introductions, I will take attendance. Okay. You need to learn how to work things together in class as a team. Okay?
Okay. You need to get your team organized. Okay? You need to get your team organized, understanding what you need to produce at the end of next week. Okay? Because at the end of next week is November the 7th. Yeah. Uh, at the end of next week, that means the Monday, two weeks later. Okay? Yeah, that's, that's already given you this time. The whole purpose of the exercise is to start out with individual responsibility to fulfill your journal writing with a sense of responsibility on the pair to come up with the pair topic. And now it's the pair's response to the teamwork to harmonize the two topics from the two pairs to come up with your team topic. And then you need to tell the story of what the whole team have learned from this. Okay? In the process, you have to exercise the OIA learning of how you critically think and analyze the topics put on the table by the respective peers. Remember in this exercise, the big challenge is to come up with a team report. You're not required to write your individual block yet. You must harmonize the two pair topics into one team topic. With that team topic, you need to come up with three specific questions to explore. And for each of the three specific questions, you need to have a set of OIA. And with a set of OIA, three sets of OIA, for the three questions to explore your team topic, you start to do the discussion. And then you start to write team report. Okay? And I must demonstrate to you, studying from this class, five to ten minutes in each class, the way to use the wiki. Okay? Because the way to write a report, the easiest way to write a report is to use the wiki. Okay? Through the wiki, individual members of the team could write collaboratively without waiting for your team member to complete particular passing you the Microsoft Word. But I also allowed you to use the Microsoft Word to write your report together. Okay? There's basically two ways. You have to determine which fits your team better. But if you ask me, I will tell you, you definitely need to use the wiki. Okay? Representative to come up here, we have had those two minutes to tell the whole class what your team is up to. Okay, it's the first time I ever call things like this. Is it team number one? Not yet? Okay, I think your team is ready. Why not just go ahead? <laughs> two. Number two, team number two. Okay, where is team number one? Okay. Looks like you need to get used to that. All right. Now, normally speaking, the morale behind working in class is this: it's very hard for you to get together outside the classroom. If you cannot get together inside the classroom during the class hours, so it's very important that we allow you the maximum flexibility to work in class. Unfortunately, your team, the other two members, does not seem to be honest be here. Okay, uh, but allow me to suggest that you can work together first. Okay, just focus on your pair topic. Remember the first task you need to do in this particular each class teamwork is 
you must be aware of where you are in your team. Okay? You have already submitted your learning contract number two. And now, when you report on what the team is up to, you must manage to tell something specific about the progress of your work inside your team. Okay? Now, when you tell the progress of your work inside your team, you must have a picture of what you need to complete at the end of this learning contract number three. It's called teamwork. Okay? And where do you start? You have two pairs, okay? We got two pair topics, okay? The question is, how much of the teamwork you have done, <coughs> starting from the two pair topics, from the two pairs in your team? Okay? Now, if you want to know the answer to that, you have to be sincere. I cannot use that, but I have to tell you. Ask if the two pairs in your team has already done contract number two. Okay? If you are in a situation that one pair in the team that you have have not done contract number two, that means they are not ready for the pair topic yet. Okay? Then you need to ask yourself the next question. What if my team peer have not done learning contract number two and has not prepared the peer topic? The answer is simple. Now, with the four persons on your table, come up with a new topic that is agreed by all the four of you in your table. Okay? That is what you need to do. Understand what you need to do? Now, in case you have only two persons in your team, come up with one topic that is belong to your pair. Okay? All right? Are you with me? Okay. It's all right. Let's start from the very beginning. Now you're listening. All right? Now I hope you're listening. The purpose of the last learning contract that we started from last week is to make sure that you can switch from doing something alone to doing something as a pair and then doing something as a team. In learning contract number one, you largely learn how to do something alone in the context of writing your journal. Okay. In the second learning contract, you also continue to do something alone in writing your weekly learning journal. But you have another work to do. That is, you must discuss with your learning partner. So may I ask one question? Do you have a learning partner at this point? Do you know who is your learning partner? Lao Me? Are you sure? Okay. So, may I invite you to do this? In the first learning contract, this is what you need to do. You not only have your learning partner as a pair, since we have teams, all right? So, let's go to teams. I know it's difficult to work in class, but not only because students sit, just listen. But it's very important for you to break free of this pattern. So if you go to week number five or six, you see that we have team, all right? So you have already continued your work from being one student to a pair and then to a team. So at this point, if you really do not know who your team partner is, come here and check. But I believe you know it because you sit as a team now, right? Okay, so are you sitting as a team? Okay, you sure? You sure? All right, so I just want to make sure you know what to do. Normally, when a team comes together, you need to make sure what each team member has to do. Okay, all right. 
And the first job your team needs to do now is to select a team representative. Can you elect to select a team representative in your table? Okay, let's do it in one minute. Each team, except for your team, because you always have two persons. It's all right, I backed you up. Each team, could you select one team representative now? One team representative in one minute, okay? You have to make sure you select one team representative. Now these representatives could be different in each class, okay? Now at this class, let's do it in one minute. Who is your team representative? You must designate, okay? Have you done your representative here? Okay? Can you select one? And one minute, Laomi, are you willing to do it? Okay? So you don't want to serve others? Okay, find one who's willing to serve others. Okay? Laomi says she's not going to serve. So, another three girls, can you serve? Okay? Select one team representative. One, okay, that's good. Tai Tai, alright. Okay, can you select one team representative? Okay? Yes, okay. Remember, the one who serve as the team representative just as the other in class sharing, she would have the chance to earn in class sharing score if he or she has not enough number of in class sharing. Okay, that is the advantage of being a team representative. Okay? Okay, do you see what I'm trying to tell you? If there is no reasons why you don't want to be the team representative, because by doing a team representative, you have one in class sharing content. So why, why don't you do something? All right. So, all right. Do you have a team representative now? Okay. Do you have a team representative now? All right. Because this is your chance to earn the in class sharing. Don't come to me at the end of the semester. I won't score, but I didn't do anything. But this is a chance for you to learn, all right? So allow me, now we did job number one. Now you have, for each team, a team representative for this class, okay? In the next class, you might have a different team representative because you want to rotate it. Okay, now you've got a team representative. Spend two minutes. Now, discuss inside each team <coughs> what you want to tell the whole class about your work in learning contract number three. You have no more than two minutes, okay? The team representative selected for this class must take up the job to tell the whole class what your team has been up to in terms of the work that has to be done in learning contract number three. Now you have two minutes time to get yourself prepared, and then the team representative need to come up here to inform the whole class. Now, the team representative needs to work with all the members in your table to organize the information so that you know what to expect. Hey, Scofield, are you supposed to be in this team? Okay, I'll bring you one more member. You are not in the right team. Okay. All right. So, okay, two minutes. I have to give you this. I just want to make sure you become used to this kind of exercise. If you cannot make the best use of the class time to do things, it's very hard for you to do anything outside the classroom. Okay? Is it the way that you study for, the, for the, so many years in your school? All right, I hope you're not, because that's a chance for you to learn something. Yes, okay. Now, you just have two minutes to arrange what you need to tell the whole class. It's very important. We spend time helping you to learn this, all right? Make sure you're organized, all right? So, Dr. A, are you ready? Are you ready to make sure you tell the whole class what you're up to? Okay, that's good. You have two minutes. Because we don't have all the time sometimes. You need to get yourself ready. Alright? Now, 
I know it's very difficult for you to meet outside the classroom. That is why we have the forum here. The forum for the whole team is set up to help you to communicate across all people's schedule because it's very hard to be outside the classroom. So you need a tool that is the forum for you to talk, okay? With the forum here, set up in week number eight, here you can see that you need to make the best use of this team forum to inform everybody in your team what is being worked on, all right? So, I do not know how you go to other classes and study, but if you do not have the basic academic skill that I'm introducing you here, it will be very hard for you in college years, okay? You need to have the ability to work with others. The second thing is, do we have time? Now, now we single out the class time for you. And then you do not need to specifically find the other person because all your teammates are here, okay? So you need to know how to organize to get work done, all right?
One question, do you know that we do not have final exam in this course? Okay, do you know why we do not need a final exam in this course? Because we have a portfolio that is supposed to be done in the last four weeks of the semester. In the portfolio, your job is to gather what you have done in the semester and tell how many score you have earned. You are going to tell me how many score you have earned, okay? I've given you the score in learning contract number one, and before the end of this week, you will have the score in learning contract number two, okay? And after November the 7th, you will have the score in learning contract number three, and then it's your portfolio time, all right? Originally speaking, we're going to have a midterm, but I think I'm not going to send a midterm, but just increase the portfolio score by that score the midterm, okay? So you need to know the importance of in-class work, now, the TPT, allow me to speak in Cantonese one time.